Welcome back, YouTube, to another video. Today, I will be expressing what I felt spiritually last night. I was doing my normal um, active trance. Um, by active trance, it's very hard to... Um, the active trance is movement with your body. Um, during that state of mind, I felt when I was breathing in to um, how how do I explain 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 this. Okay, I was breathing inward multiple times and from what that does is either it charges your energy as you draw it up. Um, it's like a, a battery. It's like you're storing energy and the more I breathe in I felt more and more of my energy. I usually do this type of um, man mantra, uh, hand position. Wrap your your hand. Okay, basically, instead of doing the prior hand position, what you're doing is. You take your right hand behind to touch the back of your other hand. You slip them in and the fingertips are now touching. And I don't know why I do this hand position, but when I was doing that, that's when I noticed I felt um, okay, I was doing that hand position with the breathing in, storing the energy, charging up. During that, I felt like an arrow shot into my heart chakra. That I have never experienced before. Usually, I wake up up and I know someone hates me because those I just know it's it's a certain type of pain but it's coming from the heart chakra itself this time it was a shot to the heart chakra like an arrow hitting your chest like in a video game but from that it I don't know where it came from I don't know why it appeared and today I'm I just feel very off like something isn't right either a person was hurt and sent me that energy or something else happened I do not know was it from okay um was it a person, okay, husband and wife type of scenario? Okay, you know how you, if it's like long, like you're not together, okay, you're, you're, um, okay, person A is in a room, person B is in a different room, different locations. You send your sexual energy to whoever you are thinking about. I can't really exp express this really because of YouTube doesn't like this type of content. Okay, but you can imagine, okay, you're rubbing it out, okay, to this person you love. Is a person sending main sexual energy into the heart chakra no, this feels different. It's not that type of energy, but 
so I don't really know why this arrow thing happened. All I know is I feel completely off today and when it happened my spirit I mean I felt in pain. I had to actually do this because it, I felt some sort of pain while it happened and I actually had to do this. It's not very often well my spirit feels like it is being threatened or being under attack by an unseen enemy. By unseen, it can mean an evil entity on the astral is trying to attack me or a person is sending me the hate, except with that, I usually wake up and know instantly. But this isn't that. This isn't hatred from someone. It's not sexual energy either. So I personally have no idea what this was. Um, why I am even showing this with you, I don't know. It's been a long time since I shared anything from what I have been feeling, uh, supposedly. Like, my wings or uh, a vision from a trance, etc. Basically, what happened was... Uh, lately, I've been feeling like two days ago, or maybe just yesterday. I. No, we were having. No, it could be two days or three days ago. Okay, recent. Very recent, I was feeling my wings again, like. Like outward. Um, coming out of my body, not being invisible. So I was feeling my wings again they were glowing white sometimes gold but but gold is sexual energy someone actually told me that i personally don't know if it's true or not but since i was seeing either white or gold or both it would make sense uh because the wings come out when you're blissful well, for me, anyways, it's when it's some sort of type of bliss. Um, it can't come out... Okay, my wings cannot appeal when there was a deep trauma. Instead of drooping down, like I've seen in artworks, they vanish. I lose all sense of connection to my magic, to my wings... To the dragon form that I, that I know I, that I am. I have lost all sense of that until a very recent I was feeling my wings. Even now as I speak, I feel something appearing. Yes, my, my wings are actually showing. Um, like, they're not out, outstretched, they'll just rest in, like how your normal wings just rest. So they'll basically, like a cape, like, um, those are rest in. But I know they are there. That is the key point. My wings are there. But this arrow to the heart chakra is... Well, I don't want to say it's concerning, but... It caught me off guard. I don't know what it means... Is it because did I shake something loose from going from trauma, healing it? Is that why this arrow hits? Did I loose loosen something in the heart chakra? Was the heart chakra is the center of emotion. With that being said, did a did a specific emotion get healed or got triggered to the effect of this arrow coming from nowhere and hitting me. I don't know. It, it felt like, I want to say, 
Well, it was energy. I want to say a golden arrow, like from Zelda. The hero's bow, if you will. The light arrow from Zelda. It felt like that pierced into me. I don't know what that could mean. Um, as I'm talking about it, I'm like thinking of what it could have been because when it happened I didn't really notice any color or how it felt. I All I did was I, I jumped and did that, did that instantly and it felt like my dragon part of me was shrieking in pain and that's the first thing I did now, going back over, it feels like a light arrow hit me. Which is actually saying, could... Okay, in theory, because I do not know if this is even real. What if... An angel, a guardian angel of mine, has an arrow, a bow with an arrow, shot light directly into my heart center. What if that is what happened? Which in turn I don't know what it what it would do. I I don't know. It, well I do know light eradicates the darkness. I have said this many times in my blog posts. Light destroys the darkness. It destroys demons. If your light is super godly, right now I am not on godhood. I am still trying to receive hit 5D. We are talking about light that comes from 90, 8D even, probably 90 mostly. So what, what if this arrow of light hit my heart chakra to destroy some sort of darkness that I did not know was there to begin with? The darkness was in my heart chakra. I had no idea what if this arrow of light came to destroy that darkness I had no idea was there. Maybe. All I know is I am not a demon nor am I human. So what the hell am I? Well, since I'm not darkness and I am not a 3D Seep, that can only mean one thing, a star seed. As I said previously, I have, I feel a connection to the Lyran race. However, what if there is only one alien race? Okay, what if there was only one alien race? We created all these different races out of our pure imagination, but it, it could be relating back to the originals. What if all the star seeds are actually this one alien race only? Except for Pleiadian demons, those once a demon, always a demon. Your light could fall, however, with that being said, light cannot enter, become darkness. Light can never become darkness. The light always shines a shadow but it can never become a demon. There is no way. 
I would know. I have tried. I when I before I knew every before I became to know about the spirit path. I thought I was a demon. No. My light. I could never become a demon. In what way do I mean? Um. Like I felt a deep sense of. Well, since I'm an outcast, maybe I am a demon. What if? Why have I not had a mental breakdown to the point of hurting myself? Yeah, there was an ins. Um, there was a time well. I thought I was demonic because I could see these certain flashes of energy in my eyes like fire almost it wasn't fire but i could just see flashes in my eyes and i began began to think okay what if i am a demon and then i would have all these crazy daydreams with a priest trying to um exorcist it out once a light being, always a light being. So I'm beginning to think that this light arrow eradicated whatever was there. It could be healing all the trauma, I don't know. But yeah, it, it goes back to, okay, since you don't feel you're human and you know you're not a demon, what are you? What if you are an angel of the light? I do not believe in the Bible, therefore I will never admit. Well, that's excellent. Goes back to the original God, the God of Gods. Um, basically like Zeus, for instance, but it goes back further than that. What if all the angels were actually from older than the Bible, not following that book, but they came from the God of Gods? Therefore, when I say, what if you're an angel from this god of gods? For me, I already know the answer. It is in plain sight. Once a light being, always a light being. Once a demon, always a demon. There was no in between. It was your decision to harm others. It was your decision to be on drugs. It was your decision to do whatever you did that is considered demonic. If you do those evil acts, well, your soul is black as coal. A light being would never succumb to that darkness. You would, in, in turn, prevent yourself from doing those evil acts. But, the key word... But what if a person is trying to murder you? Well, defend yourself. Show no mercy. If you are trying to get away from this person and have no choice but to hurt this person, 
who was trying to hurt you, you are doing the right thing. If they are showing no mercy, then you show no mercy. Fight fire with fire, in other words. But that is the extreme scenario. For most, we would never do that. Fight evil with evil. But your light will always know that you will never hurt innocent. That is what I am saying. Light beings will never hurt the innocent. Once a demon, always a demon. Demons hurt the light, but if the light never turns to the demonic, then you were never a demon. You were always stronger than it. Oh, kind of strange how that actually went from talking about a light arrow to talking about light being always light, demon always demon, just from one point. I roll with it. Whatever comes to mind, I speak it. So, yeah, this is an interesting video. I will admit that was not expecting to actually... Well, I have been meaning to express it, it's just I never did until now. And then note, the light, when the time is right, you will find the other beings of light. I have met only demonic people. They, by, by that I mean I have met only the wrong types of people, why they leave. They leave because of rejection. Only a demon would care about that. A light being would be the mature one and say, you know what, I don't care if we are dating to be your friend or not. I will stay with you even when you rejected me. It takes great courage to do that. However, if you never wanted to, if you just wanted to be friends in the first place, knowing that she is either married or dating someone, why would you care if you were dating her to begin with, knowing that she is already taken Think about that. Only a demon would care about being rejected or not. I mean, that is so 3D thinking. So for me, I have only met the demons. Whoever has left me, stopped conversating with me, etc., you are not in my life right now. Those people were demons. I have yet to find more of the soul tribe. Light being is only one tribe. Light being. There are no other tribes. The 3D world, this earth, has made you believe that there are so many different races and species of aliens. However, there is only one tribe. One soul tribe only. Light will always meet light. 
Sometimes demons try to get us away from the light, but if we do not fall for those tricks, then we are of that one tribe. If we fall to the 3D world around us, we are not that. We are not of that one tribe. Once a light being, always a light being. If you succumb to the darkness, then you were always darkness. Right now, there was only what? Human, demon, and light. Okay, this felt like something just grabbed me right here. Like, I felt warmth. Like, like, right here just grabbed me. Um, when I just said that, the, about the three tribes. Okay, technically there's a fourth tribe, but really, who is a gray alien disguised as a human? No, really. The greys do exist. The Anunnaki exist. And all the rest does not. They don't. Made up. We made that up. So when I say light tribe, I am literally talking about the Anunnaki. All the the one tribe is the Anunnaki. I do when I say one tribe. No one why would a gray alien reincarnate as a human? I don't know, but if that's a thing, then I don't know. Personally, I don't think they would. But, yeah. For me, I have never... W what I'm saying is, whoever is not in my life right now, they were not the light being. They were not Anunnaki. They were a demon. Pleiadian demon. I keep that in mind. I have only met I have three people right now who continue uh, to talk with me. Three people I know are real are not fake friends. Fakes are demons. 3D people. If you're not on 4D or 5D right now, then you're a freaking demon. I am not going to lie. But if you're not awake right now and not understanding anything I am saying, you're a demon. And demons do not care for this stuff. You might be very... Um, I know there are learning disabilities, but I can't really explain that one um either you're taking forever to understand something what i'm t what i'm what i have been sharing or you will never understand it either you do or you don't if you don't you're a demon if you do chances are you're an anunnaki that you have completely have no regulation of that you do not remember for me personally I have no memory there are no soul memories I have soul amnesia I mean I've, who knows how many lifetimes you have reincarnated what if you reincarnated 2,000 different times of course you're going to have amnesia Maybe. Uh, for me, I have amnesia, apparently. Then again, I only know one name that I identify with based on personality. The key point is how your emotions drive you. With that being said, there's only one name that I identify with based on the points of emotion Sama's personality. 
But since it, again, corresponds to this pantheon, all the gods are Anunnaki. Every single pantheon on this planet has they are Anunnaki. You just forgot. That's all. Anyone who lives by the old laws serve others in the sense of never serve demons, then think about that. Yep, I have n now run out of everything to say. Okay, head. Yeah, I, I get it, head. <laughs> uh, until we meet again in the next video or in the Discord server.